Hey YouTube, today we'll be doing a video review for Brothers in Arms Global Front for iPad and this is the second Brothers in Arms game uh, made by Gameloft. So here you'll find the main menu with several options but we'll start with achievements for now. Here you'll see your trophies, biographies, and journals. Uh, biographies is a set of informations about characters that you can look through. Uh, not very useful. Journals also a set of your pre-mission logs that you can read through and trophies are similar to uh, Xbox achievements or PlayStation trophies you know you do a task and then uh, it awards you with some sort of achievement uh, there's also options menu here that will let you adjust sound or control schemes or game settings um, so voice regular options, things like that. And here we are, main menu, campaigns, and continue, which is actually your story mode, which is fairly long, uh, about 10 missions here, uh, that are a good 20 minutes each, so there is a decent amount of time to play. Uh, the game is narrated. Uh, it's not the best narrating, but it's better than not having voice at all, so let's actually jump into the uh, actual game. So left on the left side the left stick will move you and on the right side you will drag your finger to look around and there will be buttons to shoot and aim in the bottom right corner so here you can scope in and shoot scope out you can shoot without scoping as well there is a jog button in the on the top and a grenade button on the bottom so the scope actually works on the harder difficulty because there is no auto aim but on medium and easy difficulties uh, it's easier to shoot without scoping because there is a, a generous auto aim that will uh, help you get headshots often than kill guys really easily so it's not very useful to scope in on easier difficulties but the option is there if you want it. Um, this game is similar to other games that you'll find on consoles or PC in terms that it has similar mechanics to Call of Duty and uh, brother, other Brothers in Arms games and uh, Battlefield games as well. Uh, so it, it has things like throwing grenades, uh, taking cover, which isn't found in a lot of first person shooter games, but uh, scoping in, uh, sprinting, uh, blood on the screen to show how how much health you have, things like that. All of that is is there and if you've played other first person shooter games you'll find it very familiar. So here we're actually looking at some of the menus uh, that you can find in game and this is a help, help menu that pretty much has information on uh, weapons and machines you'll use. So let's get back out and here you'll see we're taking cover and you can exit that cover so here's the blood splatter on the screen that I mentioned just a couple of seconds ago so you can take down these guys without scoping and there's a crouch button in the left corner that will let you crouch and stand, crouch and stand uh, not very useful most of the time you'll just be taking cover and that will crouch you automatically but the option is there if you want to use it you can't go prone in this one, but you probably won't need to. In the top right corner, you'll actually see a map, and top left corner, there's a pause and a music button. So here I'll be taking down these guys, and I can throw grenades at them. The grenade button is in the bottom, bottom right, and you can have up to eight grenades, I think. It's fairly generous. Um, You'll also see a weapons icon there, and you can scroll through your weapons and reload as well by tapping there. So here I am fighting some guys here. I'm going to throw a grenade. And I can also throw back their grenade if they throw me one. Um, overall, this is a really good iPad game. Uh, a really good shooter game for the iPad. Uh, but compared to other handheld consoles or uh, console games or PC games, uh, the control scheme is a bit lacking and it's a little slow. You won't find precision here like you would on Call of Duty. 
or uh, Battlefield or other games like that, but there is an, an auto-aim as well as the game will let you make fairly accurate shots by itself, so it is fairly generous and pretty good for an iPad game. So let's actually back out of here and go to the multiplayer section so that I can show off the control schemes as well as multiplayer. So you can play online here and you have to create a Gamesloft uh, live account which is similar to uh, Xbox Live kind of but it's free. So you can create games here or you can join a game or view the leaderboard. So let's join a game and if the server is full it will tell you but let's join an open game with uh, five people so the maximum this will hold is six including yourself and you can choose a character for yourself there's uh, six characters per faction allies axis and I believe the yeah the Japanese are in this as well um, so here you are this is the same setup that I use in single player and the multiplayer is similar to other games like Call of Duty or Battlefield. You'll find weapons and you can pick them up, switch weapons, shoot, find grenades. Um, you can use the cover mechanic online as well, so every everything you can use in single player you can use online. Um, the game works rather well. There's little lag. Um, my only complaint is that you can't see grenades coming most of the time they will just appear out of nowhere but let's actually go into the control schemes and switch to the screen tap which actually removes the control stick on the left and on the right you will drag your finger similar to that to aim except here the fire button will always be under your finger that way you don't have to reach down and press it so this setup perhaps works a little better than the previous one so here you, you'll you see a couple of grenades fly and this guy will uh, kill me pretty quickly here um, so let's, let's actually switch to another setup that I can show let's go over to the point and or let's actually do the virtual sticks so the virtual sticks will uh, will present you with a uh, similar setup to Call of Duty games where the left stick will make you look around, the right stick will, or rather left stick will move you and the right stick will uh, allow you to look around. Uh, the, the weapons button is still there and the jog button is still there so you, you will still do a lot of the same things even though the control scheme is different. So let's actually switch over to another one here as soon as I can uh, access the menu. Yeah, I seem to be getting killed a lot here. Uh, it's tough filming and uh, playing at the same time. But never mind about that. Let's move on to the uh, point and aim control scheme, which is sort of similar to the original except instead of dragging your finger here you will you will actually tap to aim and this this works similar to the original setup so there isn't much a difference but tap to aim and your cursor will stay there uh, the best setup is probably the dual sticks if you're comfortable with it or the default setup is also good to drag and shoot um, but I still end up getting killed here. Well, moving on, let's actually exit out. You can't access the menu while dying, but let's exit out to the main menu and wrap up the review here. You can also play this game with several iPads or iPhones if you have it local via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Or once again, on you can also access your GameLoft live account here and um, look at your trophies and things like that. But that's about it for my review, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.